when we have relationships with our human counterparts, it can be messy. We can have arguments, we can have questions about their judgment or, or things, things are a little bit more complicated than that unconditional love and affection that is shown to us by our companion animal, by our dog. That unconditional love combined with a caregiving role that, that they don't eat, they don't walk, they don't get out, they don't socialize unless we do that for them and join them in that process builds a really, really solid and connected bond. So it's only natural that experiencing the death, the end of that bond, would hit us in a significant way. And so it's, you're never crazy for grieving the amount that you're grieving. And I can't tell you how many times I've heard um, clients tell me and organizations that I'm partnering with tell me that, you know, I'm grieving the loss of my dog more than I grieve the death of my grandparent or more than I grieve the death of my cousin or my friend. And it makes sense to me to hear that. But sometimes it can be shocking when we have a humanistic centered approach or, or we, we are focused on the sentience of humans versus that sentience or well-being and um, the connection of other animals, so non-human animals. And I think it's important to recognize that if we look at this, it, it makes a lot of sense for that unconditional bond caregiving role, that connection, and the amount of time we spend with our pets that we would be grieving in an immense amount. And it makes it even more complicated since we further stigmatize the, the expression of this grief in our society. Hey, thanks for checking out this short clip. If you'd like to see this full presentation and much more, please visit dogcareandair.com or any of our social media channels where new content is uploaded on a daily basis. Please check the description for all links. And remember, dogs do so much for us. Learn to do the best for them. Thanks.